Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it's time for another episode of Crypto Mining Mail. I haven't done one of these in a while, so if you never saw an episode before, this is basically a series where we take a look at all the packages which arrived here, do unboxings together and take a look at some of the things which are upcoming for the channel. So we will start with a small little package from Greece. I never really featured CPU mining on the channel yet, but I already mentioned in the last video that every CPU in the house is mining in off time. Therefore, I was looking for a deal like this for a little experiment, which will be coming up. This is an i5-6600K with 4 cores and a stock clock of 3.9 MHz. A cooler by Phasm was included in the deal, but I never heard of Phasm and when googling it, I only found Russian sites. If you know the company, please tell me in the comments, but still, I won't spoiler what we are going to do with it exactly at this point of time, so let's move on. One can never have enough fans, so here are some more Noctua products. But this time it's not an industrial fan, but we're looking at the Redux version in 80mm. This fan might have something to do with what we looked at before, but more on that in another point in time. The other things from Noctua are just for, say, vanity and for me personally. That's their Chromax anti-vibration pads that let you do beautiful things like this. This is the industrial PPC fan you remember from the Z9 Mini video. <laughs> Of course, you won't have better airflow through colors, but it's just a personal good to have. Talking about fans, I had a good idea what might be in the next little package, and I was right. Hooray, it's the 6000 RPM fan for the Antminers. But guess what? I received a broken fan. Hooray. So, yet again, more waiting time for just this particular experiment, damn. It's a China fail, so to say, but the only problem when something like this happens is time. Because in terms of refunds and replacements, our Chinese colleagues are normally very reliable. But the problem is, at least in the middle of Europe, you always lose a lot of time in between this kind of problems. So, Broken Ant Miner Fan, thank you very much. Up next is an utility as well as a luxury item. This is a 5 inch LCD screen with HDMI input. Normally these can be used as touch screen for Raspberry Pis, but I will use it for quick rig maintenance. This means if the measures of controlling the rigs remotely fail, I can quickly set up the screen instead of carrying around a clunky old one like I did in the past. Furthermore, I do have a Raspberry Pi 3 because I wanted to build a little staking computer in the past, but now I don't need it anymore. But there are still a lot of possible things to do with a Raspberry Pi, also in terms of mining. So. Let's see what the future will bring for these little things. While doing the video, I realized that the Americans have cheaper options with these kind of screens than we Europeans have. Except again if you want to get it from China. But I'll have links in the description. So you know what the grey plastic color means. The China package again. So similar than with the Ant Miner fan, I had some bad luck in the past with breakout boards. So the last one I ordered arrived broken, I got a refund and I ordered another one. So again, lost time, glad to see this one packaged in carton. The last one was in plastic only. Looking good and we have 16 6 pin slots more to use. Other than that, it's just more utility stuff. Every one of you who uses HiveOS probably has a decent collection of 8GB USB sticks for example. So it was the same for me, one can never have enough. Just be sure to take USB 3.0 when you're using HiveOS. Other than that, it's only fan splitters for me. As always, just cables, cables, cables. So that's already it for the third episode of Crypto Mining Mail and the tech unboxings. I hope this might give you some inspiration for your own mining operation or at least an idea of some of the things which might be upcoming for the channel. Links for everything you saw are in the description and you are supporting the channel if you are using them. So thank you very much for that. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all of you. We just surpassed the 1000 subscriber mark this very Sunday and I'm really thankful for that. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Happy mining and bye.